Boxing has Rocky, Notre Dame has Rudy. Both became Hollywood movies, and despite a few Hollywood embellishments, the difference, of course, is that the Rudy story is a small but real part of Notre Dame legend. Daniel Rudy Rudiga really did grow up determined to become part of Notre Dame story tradition. He joined the Navy to earn the money to go to college, and he overcame a form of dyslexia and several rejection letters to meet Notre Dame's academic standards. He toiled on the Irish scout team for two years. Then, on November 8, 1975, in a game against Georgia Tech, Coach Dan Devine finally allowed Rudy to dress for the last home game of his college career. On the very last play of the game, Rudy took the field. Irish letting the clock run. Notre Dame with the game locked up long ago. In truth, it was locked up early in the first half. The Irish were leading 24-3. It was second and 10 for Georgia Tech, and just 22 seconds remained on the clock. As Georgia Tech attempted one last desperate pass, Rudy seized the moment and lunged in for the quarterback. Mutual Radio's Don Crickey called the play. 22 seconds to go in the game now. Rudy Allen drops to throw. They're going to get him. They do back at the 14. Notre Dame's second-line defensive unit swarms in to get Rudy Allen in to make the first hit for the Fighting Irish. And now the clock ticks off the final seconds. The gun sounds, and Notre Dame, with its most impressive win, beating Georgia Tech 24-3. Although it was Notre Dame's second-line defensive unit that got the credit, and the only Rudy mentioned by Don Crickey was Rudy Allen, the Tech quarterback, the players who hoisted Daniel Rudiga off the field knew what he had done. Through faith and a never-say-die spirit, Daniel Rudy Rudiga had beaten the odds and made his dream come true. He made his mark at Notre Dame, and he did it the Notre Dame way.